Michelle Morrow. And I'm Malik Forte, and welcome to Expert Mode Rig Wars. I did build my first computer when I was 13 years old. So I have a lot of experience under my belt, and I do feel that I have an edge to win this competition. I think my chances of winning lie in the fact that I have a lot of experience in building and debugging and testing systems, and so in a competition like this, you never know what's gonna come up. When it comes to processor, speed is king. That's why modders utilize a technique called overclocking to push stock CPUs to the limit. That's right, and today your challenge is to maximize your performance by using overclocking. Your Intel Core i7 processor's starting clock speed is four gigahertz. You have 30 minutes on the clock. Clock starts now. Overclocking is taking a computer component and pushing the processor speed faster. So it's a lot like hot rodding a motor for a car. This is my area of expertise, and I know that I've got a clear advantage here. Travis is a world record overclocker, so I have a little bit of worry there. And in the last challenge, Mark's processor got the lowest temperature. I have one leg up on Travis and Hassan because I have the coldest chip so that I might be able to get a higher overclock. So initially, I'm gonna start higher knowing that we have such a limited time frame. This is what we call a spamming delete. It's how we force the computer to go into the BIOS. 30 minutes, there's not enough time to do what I want. So I first start by trying to push maximum speed possible just to see what that chip's capable of. I'm increasing the CPU clock speed here using the base clock. The Intel Core i7-6700K processor is an excellent processor. It's unlocked, it has potential for great overclocks, it's got quad cores with hyper-threading, so I know that I'll be able to tweak this processor to get the highest overclock. First thing I did was get the multiplier up to 48, that got the processor to 4.8 gigahertz, ran, ran the test, went perfectly fine. I go two clocks up and it completely will not work. No matter what I do, it's just stuck. So I'm going back and just tweaking every little detail. I'm disabling the ethernet cable, the audio, everything on the board that might take up just a little bit of the voltage and then just get my optimization as high as possible. Travis definitely looks like the most authoritative, you know, right now. He looks like he wants to win this for sure. Mark's being, a, he's being a little more calculated, you know, just a little more laid it's back, precise. precise. Yeah. Very precise. Yeah. As I'm benchmarking, I'm trying to achieve the maximum overclock. If you go too far, the benchmark completely freezes. I hear Mark let out a sigh, and I think he's done for. Don't kill your processor, man. It seems that Mark is struggling a little bit. I'm taking this chip and pushing it to its limits. I took all fail safes off. I drove this processor as hot as I could get it. This chip is on fire. I mean, I'm going over 100 degrees Celsius. Travis is actually allowing the processor to overheat past its thermal threshold so that he can try to squeeze as much out of it as possible. I knew Mark had a chance to beat me out, but at this point, I'm feeling confident. I'm starting to get over five gigahertz with this processor. I'm able to get through XTU, and I think I've got a good shot at winning. Time. All right, it is time to find out who is the overlord of overclocking. In third place, coming in with a speed of 4.95 gigahertz is Hassan. And now, coming in second at 5.06, we have Mark. Which means our winner is Travis at 5.07. Barely squeaked uh, out the barely win. Barely squeaked by. Come on over here, man. Uh, how you feeling, man? I feel awesome right now. You barely pulled that one off. I, I can't believe it. I mean, it was like 10,000 failures and one success. <laughs> Let's take a look at the current standings. Travis narrowly picked up the win, adding three points to his total and reclaiming the lead, while Mark grabs one point for second place. All right, well, that's it for today. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time on Rig Wars.